For those of you that don't know it yet, I have a strange passion for taking things apart. In line with that passion, I found some components in my garage after doing different upgrades on my car and I decided to take them apart. When doing this, okay, four screws have been removed and we reach the main PCB. This is where I found something very interesting in the side switch of your gear shifter. This is a very good example of design for efficiency or the way that the big companies are designing some of their components to maximize um, or to minimize cost. If we take a look at the inside of this switch and for those of you that are familiar with remote controls, you are able to see the same principle in action. We will have a PCB board, a rubber mask, and the connecting, the switching is done with these elements. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. In the standard form, we had only two switches. I've done the retrofit to the switch that also has the mode select on this one. However, you need to be mindful that there are vehicles that have more accessories and they will have switches for rear view camera and other accessories. Now thinking of those and looking at these elements, what can you conclude? Well, my conclusion is that BMW has manufactured and placed all the possible combination of switches on this PCB board They've done the rubber mask and the switching element to fit all of those ones. And the only difference when it comes to actually producing different parts for the vehicles will be this exterior mask that will feature some of the switches or not. Now, this leads us to think of the following thing. If we really wanted just to access a certain function, if we find a way of pressing the button that we want to press, we shall have exactly that function. Now, it will be looking really, really strange. However, if we press some or if we put some mechanisms in this cover that will allow us to reach and press on these buttons, we should have the same functionality as the more complex switches. To keep in line with this, um, analysis that we are doing on the part, you can tell that this is, or this PCB, the board on which we have the components, is symmetrical and it will be valid for, so this component is for a right hand drive car. The same board with the components placed on the other side will be used for a left hand drive car. So overall, a very efficient way of manufacturing their components and overall an interesting idea or an interesting observation that might allow us to access different functions and reuse some of the components. I hope that this video helped. If you find it interesting, don't forget to consider liking and subscribing. And on that note, I shall be seeing you in the next one.